arts in Moscow, Russia. In 2005, he received a BFA in digital media design from Corcoran College of Art and Design in Washington, D.C. Growing up in Moscow during the post-Soviet era, Yara witnessed the dramatic rebirth of Russian society and culture. Ooh, it's a lot to say. Well, yeah, the two BFAs and the two polar, but I have mean, like, two different uh, types of, but it's still related to art, so. Yeah, it was quite, quite a journey, studying well, most of my life. <laughs> yeah, so, um, um, and this is actually my first solo show here in DC. I've been here for nine years, and um, finally I get to do what I love to do, and you know, it's a good start, and uh, we'll continue. Well, we're glad to have you here. Thanks. Uh, a lot of my art is based on my personal experiences. Thoughts about my, about what I've done in life, uh, relationship uh, to other people's life. Uh, it's, it's all a lot. Of, a lot of it is personal, um, but it's also general things that worry everybody in the world. Like where is the world, where the world is going, and what's going to happen to us, like how we construct our lives, what do we focus on. What's decision making? Uh, it's all it's enough to put on TV and uh, all this stream of news just uh, falls on you and sometimes you get lost. What is the complex? Uh, and society is a complex thing. Yes. So where do you draw inspiration from in creating these metaphorical characters? Mm, sometimes uh, it's self-portraits. Sometimes it's the real people, friends. Uh, what led you to the decision of using toys as a symbol for artificial values? Well, toys are specifically Legos. Uh, it's, it's so artificial <laughs> in itself. Uh, I think it's a perfect representation of man-made uh, something that is a toy and it's, uh, it's not nature. Sometimes it's 